occasionally this button will go out. And when this button goes out, it's a quick, simple, easy fix. So today we're gonna to talk about one of the most common buttons we sell. This is called the four button power headrest, power recline with USB remote control here. We have two connections, two five pin connections that are even labeled primary, which is for the base motor and secondary, which is for the power headrest motor. This one right here has what we call a vanity plate. So in order to get the vanity plate, there's two little things down here. I mean, I just use a butter knife. You can use a little screwdriver. That's a little bit better. But if you just pop these off right here, it kind of pops off, comes up here. You see, there's just two things. And then you'll see that it has two screws. So it's the exact same replacement control, two screws that go in. The new one doesn't have the vanity plate, but it doesn't have these screws. So it's a really clean, simple, easy install. But like I said, all you can do, the easiest way to do it is just get that butter knife, pop this off. And now we're gonna tell you kind of how to replace it. Before we go under and I flip over the couch, I wanna kind of show you something that's kind of a cool little thing that you can do. Sometimes the power headrest motor is all the way up in here and it's kind of hard to change. What we have found sometimes is it's a little bit easier is if you wanna get access to it, if you recline everything fully and you kind of can come down here, if you see this cord I'm holding onto right here, that's the motor I'm shaking. But this is the, this is actually the, pull it out for you. But that's it right here right? That's for the power headrest. So sometimes people have a hard time reaching up in there. I'll show you an easier way to do it as well. But if you're having a hard time getting it and you still can recline the base and just need to fix the headrest, that's an easy way to do it. So keep that in mind if that helps you. Okay, so now that we're on the back of the sofa, we're going to show you how we get access to that power headrest button. And the way that we do it is simple through Velcro, right? So if we come through here, you can see it's really nice, tight and Velcro. Kind of remember that. So when you go to put it back together, you know what it looks like. But as soon as you undo this Velcro, you can see, here's the cord, right? This has come from our motor. It comes in here and you can see that where it splits off and you have one that comes right in here. You can even see it's labeled green, which our new one that we're replacing, also green, right? So we're gonna plug this one into here. We'll replace that here. Simply plug it in and do it. Um, then on the power headrest motor, again, yellow, still yellow, says secondary, so we know we got the right one. We're going to replace this one here, plug it in here. You can see that controls this power headrest motor, two motors, and we can easily get that fixed.